Hi, this is Kerry Garrison with Multicopter Warehouse and the DJI Colorado Authorized Retail Store in Lone Tree, Colorado. And continuing our tutorial series on DaVinci Resolve 14, I'm going to show you how to make some pretty cool titles with it. One of the things people complain about with Resolve is its inability to do good titles and uh, I think it just takes getting a little creative. So I'm going to start with a new project here. Um, now most of my footage is in 30 frames per second so I'm just going to go ahead and adjust that so that it's pretty much always the same. Now what I like to do is keep all my titles in their own project so I can reuse them in other projects. Instead of having to recreate it all the time I can just create a library of titles and work with them from there. So let's do uh, something a little simple here. I mean, you just drag uh, a text onto the timeline and we can start manipulating it. So I'm gonna click on it and go to inspector and now I can have my attributes for it. So I'm gonna do one for Castle, Castlewood Canyon. And I'll change the font. Maybe something like uh, Marriott Pro. I kind of like that font. I'll adjust the size a little bit there. And then I'm going to do a second line. So I'll grab another text and throw it on top of that. And Castle, it's in Castle Rock. Colorado and again I'll change the font of that to Marriott Pro. I'm going to make that a lot smaller than the other one and I can move it down. Okay so we have a very very basic title but let's uh, let's add like a colored bar through the middle of it. Okay so I can go over to my generators and select a solid color and I'll pull a solid color over the top of it. Let's back into it a little bit so we can see what it's doing. So it's black and I'm gonna make it yellow. Actually I'm gonna make it red because it really needs to stand out against the color of the background. So now I've got this big red blotch and I'm going to go over to the zoom function over here and unlock it. Now I can adjust the zoom factor of it. Oops, a little too much. And position it. Okay, excellent. So we have a pretty basic title there. I mean, negative 60 oops wrong I want to point zero one five going the other way all right so now I've got these titles here so I'm just gonna switch over to this Castlewood Canyon. I'm going to save this as my titles. And I've got this little video about Castlewood Canyon that I did here. So I want to place the title right on top of it. So instead of trying to recreate it every time, I can just go to my project manager, go to my titles, I'll save that, grab these guys here, hit copy, go over back to my other one here and I'm gonna to go to the end just to be on the safe side because you see it actually put them down there and I'll move them up and slide them over so now I've got my title over here I want to move it around a little bit now the problem is not everything is going to move together unfortunately so I'm gonna to have to position some of the elements I can move the text together 
and then I'll grab that colored bar and I can move it into place. Like so. Great so far. So we can play it and we have a pretty nice little title on there. Now, if we don't want to just pop in and pop out, we can, let me zoom in here so we have some room to work with. I'll just take all of these and grab these bars here and move them 10 frames in. That's gonna be our opacity bars. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. Move them 10 frames. Great. Now, when uh, it starts, they're gonna fade in and then they'll fade out. So that's a simple way of creating a title with just an extra little bit of spice to it, if you will. By using other controls in there, we can do some other things. So I'll just go ahead and create my title in here, uh, instead of going back to the title, my titles project, because uh, I'll just do a, some quick stuff in here. So I'll go to the titles and I'm going to put two titles in here and the first one, I'm going to give myself a little credit here and I'll match the font. I'll use that Marion Pro and I'll do the same on the other one and change this to Marion Pro. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put these, and I'm going to change the size too. I'm going to make them, uh, I'll just make it 80 for consistency on both. Great. Now I'm going to move them into position. I'm going to grab the last name one, and we'll move it over, and we'll pull it down. And then we'll do the same with the other one. Now we're not finished. We're going to do quite a few other little tricks here. Just make sure they're lined up good. I'm going to move that one over. Now we move down to, uh, or go back to the text tab over here. And we have other options. We have drop shadows, stroke, and background. So background is one that I really like. So. I'm going to go ahead and since we used uh, red on the other one, I'll make the color red. Oops, not on the outline. I want to do it on the color. And now we can adjust the height and the width. But remember, I used two different titles for the name there. So this is only affecting the first name. And I'm going to change the corner radius to zero. And now I'm going to adjust the width. Pull that in there. And we have another kind of cool little title going on. I'm going to adjust the height down a little bit more. Now you want that to pop a little bit more? Fine. Change the color, intensity, however you want to do it. And I'll grab another title and drop it over here. Produced by. Change that to match the other fonts. Make that quite a bit smaller than the other one. Use the video tab and we can position that in place. Pull it down and get it over that. And now we've created, you know, these modern kind of looking titles that we just don't really see too often in Resolve, where they're very easy to do. So we can create bars, shapes, uh, not too many shapes, but basically anything that's square or rectangular, we can create using that solid color one. 
Uh, you can either do it by scaling it like I did, or you can use the crop tool to crop the top and bottom, left and right, and things like that. And now we can, you know, fade these in, f let them fade out, the same things that we've done in other places. Now, if you don't want to go through the trouble of using those opacity handles and you want a little bit quicker of a process, we can use the cross dissolve and I can just drop these guys into place on here. We'll do them on the beginning and end. And now we can see what that's going to do. Same thing. It's going to fade it in and then fade it out. So a number of different things that we can do to kind of pull off these different looks. If we want this to be a little more uh, see-through, we can change the opacity of it. I can change the opacity of that background so it's a little bit more see-through. I can make it a lot more uh, or solid if I want to do that. Or I can do it from the video tab and fade kind of the whole thing in and out. So I'm going to set these to 35. Go over here, set this one to 35. And I'll go over and set this one to 35. And now we have more of a see-through title. So it's just more of a watermark than it is, um, you know, a title per se. So these can be used for titles, for uh, lower thirds, for names, different call out things that you want to do. Now you could throw in graphics in there if you wanted more of a dynamic background, then you can get it otherwise and move those things around as well with the text on top of it. So I invite you to just have some fun and play around with what you can pull off in titles. I think you're going to have um, a lot more of a, a, well, a lot better of an experience knowing some of the extra things you can do besides just throwing text up on the screen. There's rotation angles and zoom effects, uh, pitch and yaw that you can play with. Uh, I'll show you, um, we'll just throw another text box on here. I'll grab a title, throw it on, throw it on here. And we'll call this uh, Spin Me. And let me give it a font. And why don't we do, um, okay, we'll just stick with kind of a more of a gradient or a, just a dark background on it. And I'll change the centering of that. And now we can do some other things with it. We can change uh, the rotation angle. So we can spin it in while we're zooming out or zooming in. And there's some other ones in here under video. Pitch. And yaw. And because you can keyframe these, you can kind of make them work for you in different ways. Do it backwards, so once you get to one side, you can do it again and spin it around. Same with upside down. So I'll just go ahead and reset those. Uh, there's quite a bit that you can do that people don't realize when it comes to titles. So check them out in DaVinci Resolve. The same process works with 12.5, so it's not limited to 14, although copying from one project to another is a little different in 12.5. You actually have to create dynamic projects, which is, they keep them all in memory. With 14, it's very easy to copy and paste from one to another. So take care. This has been Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse and DJI Colorado, the authorized retail store in Lone Tree, Colorado. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.